We're going to review these three functions in the Python standard library. Set attributes, get attributes, and delete attributes. To do this, we'll start off by creating a super simple class. We'll call it class X. It will contain hola. Hola will equal zero. Hola is a Spanish word. It means hello. And that's it. So what are we going to do with this? I want to find out the value in hola. That is to say, I want to get its attribute. So I'm going to say I want to get the attribute of, oh, what's the name of that class? It's x. And the name of the attribute is hola. What is in there? And it looks like the value in there is zero. Corroborated by just looking above. Hmm, I forgot. I should have set that to one, two, three. Let's do that now. Let's set the attribute in class X of the property Ola, variable Ola, to be, oh, let's be daring, four, five, six. And I hit enter, and I'm not sure if it worked. Let's get the attribute of x, specifically Ola, and see what it is now. Oh, it's 456. We're on a roll. We're doing very good. We're able to set attribute of Ola, and we're able to get the attribute that we just set for Ola. Well, what if I don't want anybody to use Ola anymore? Well, then I'd have to delete Ola. Hmm, how would I go about doing that? Hmm, let's see. I would probably key in del attribute in the X class Ola. Now, if this works, Ola will be inaccessible to us. And the only way to find that out is to key in get attribute in the X class of Ola, and I should get an error. A big red error. And I do. Type object X has no attribute Ola. Oh my goodness, I've made a terrible mistake. I want Ola back. How do I get back Ola? Well, I'd have to use the set attribute command again. I'd have to set the attribute in the X class called Ola. And I'd have to set that to some value. Let's be daring again, 789. And hit enter. And did it work? There's only one way to find out. Let's get the attribute in the class X called Ola. And there it is, 789. Hmm, no, I'd like to set another attribute that I don't even have in the class, in the class definition. I'd like to set one called Amigos. Oh, we've used enough Spanish today. Let's try another language. Chingos, that's Amigo in Korean. So, let's set the attribute in the class X called Chingu. And the value I'll give it will be, Chingo should be, well, 777. That's a good value. Now, will I be able to get away with this? This is not listed in my class. Can I just invent one that's not even there? Let's see what the system does when I try to do that. Oh, it liked it. Or did it? Let's find out. The only way to do that is get attribute. But it's not going to be Ola we're looking for, but Chingu. Let's see what's in Chingu. Oh, I've got another attribute. So I can set attributes of variables in the class. I can set this, even though I have not actually literally defined it within the class itself. So in this video, we were able to set, get, and delete the attributes of class X.
none. That's about all I have to say for now.